Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a look at Lucid Sonic Dreams. This will allow you to create audio reactive videos from Stargen 2 ADA PyTorch pre-trained networks. And yes, I've done a little fork of a fork here just so everything is nice and easy. It's got all the installation instructions there. You can just copy and paste with extra ease without even having to go to the YouTube description where everything also is as well. Awesome stuff, eh? So, this uh, is different from the original one in that it now works with uh, Stargen 2 ADA PyTorch. Uh, you don't need TensorFlow, haven't tested it with TensorFlow, probably doesn't work with TensorFlow, may do though. So if you want to give it a go, then uh, by all means. Um, the FPS value in the uh, the config file, as a little example config file, don't get too scared. We'll have a look at those later. But there's an FPS value there. That's the one I'm talking about. Uh, now. That now matches the output video. So before, you know, if you, you put 40 FPS in there and it would come out at 43.07 or something strange. Um, so yeah, now now the FPS value there actually matches the value of the video. Um, I do a lot of the rendering in RAM because um, I can't be bothered to write 3.2 gig of PNGs to my SSD each time I'm running a test. Um, so yeah, most of that's done in RAM now. Um, I've thrown some benchmarking CU DNN stuff in there just because it goes a little bit faster with it turned on. So uh, I've turned that on. Um, tested it with Python 3.9. So if you want to use the very latest, that should be good. Uh, along with Ampere, CUDA 11, and the current PyTorch 1.81. So as always, I am using Anaconda for my virtual Python environment. There you go. All the instructions also there, copied and pasted. Exactly the same thing going on there. So after you've created it, don't forget to activate it. There you go. There's mine activated. You can tell it doesn't say base anymore. Git clone this to download it. There you go, up the top there. Code. There you go. That, that will copy it into your buffer. So then you can do git clone, paste, and, and then just press return and that will download it. Obviously, I've downloaded it already. <laughs> and uh, yes, don't forget to change directory into the Lucid Sonic Dreams directory. You can then install the various packages. So this is installing PyTorch. If you want to install using Conda, you can do that as well. So just head over to the PyTorch website pick your thing so they're stable Linux Conda Python CUDA 11 or CUDA 10.2 if you fancy copy and paste that if you want to use Conda that will install the CUDA toolkit 11.1 for you as well I already have CUDA toolkit 11.2 installed and it works okay with that pip install a few other things just for the old Stargan 2 and some even more things for uh, getting this sound reactive video going now I've also linked in uh, my previous Stargan 2 ADA PyTorch directory. So there's just a symbolic link because I've got all my training runs in there. So that lets me play with the data. You don't have to put a symbolic link in there if you haven't uh, already downloaded uh, Stargan 2 ADA PyTorch. Um, when you run this, it will just download for you anyway uh, and put it in that direction directory. So yeah, there you go. So dead easy to run. You just run that. That is, of course, in the repo as well. There's a couple of different versions, one with splitter, one without. Now let's take a little look at that file. So this has got a few extra bits and pieces from the, the most basic example. That's the most basic possible example there. So if you uh, if you put that, call it, you know, my test.py, copy and paste that in. That's that's the most possible, most basic possible uh, thing you can do with it. But uh, this, this has got all the things in because I like I like playing with all the things. So um, also on this one, actually, there's this uh, Lucid Sonic Dreams tutorial notebook. So yes, do go and have a look at that. Let's refer to that for full parameter descriptions and sample code templates. So this is where that has come from. We've got this uh, swirl effect here, which uses the effects generator. So uh, there's little extra functions you can use as well. You don't have to use all the default ones. You can put your own ones in there too. That's a custom effect. Now, I've just put um, song.mp3 and song.mp4 in there because I'm really, really lazy. And I, that way I just call all the audio, when I save a bit of audio in here, I just call it song.mp3. That way I don't have to change two extra things. I can just leave it song.mp3 and it, it outputs a song.mp4. I'm happy with that. But, you know, that, that's, your, that's your mp3 input in there. Um, if you use Splitter, there's a little link to Splitter down the bottom there. Um, then you can split your audio up and uh, use the four stems. By default, it'll stri uh, strip it out into these different WAV files. So you get drums, other bass and vocals. Um, so if you want to uh, you know, get the individual tracks going, 
uh, then the splitter is one way you can do it. But this uh, this has got those commented out. That's what the little hash symbol there is at the front. Uh, it's just, just a description, really. Uh, same as the custom effects there. I've also got this commented out at the moment as well. But, you know, you just take that away and uh, there you go. It will start doing swirls then if you want it to do swirls. Uh, so, yeah, FPS, you know, fairly obvious. That's going to be uh, the actual FPS of your output video. Uh, FPM, frames per minute. That's, uh, yeah, if you, if you put that low, then, you know, you get quite a, a smooth, relaxing video. If you put that high, high being about 30, that's quite high, um, then you'll get something, you know, gut-wrenchingly fast. Um, yeah, it, it depends on your data set what it, as to what it might look like. But, uh, yeah, generally sort of 12 to 20 is okay. You might want to go a little bit slower, depending on if you've got a really relaxing video. Uh, truncation between 0 and 1, so uh, that's a real number. Uh, pulse React and uh, Motion React, fairly similar things, apart from one's a pulse and one's a motion. Uh, you can go above one in that if you want. So if you do something like 2 or 1.5, then you'll you'll get more of that gut-wrenching going on. Uh, pulse Percussive and Pulse Harmonic, you can, you can turn on or off just by setting that to true or that to false. So you can swap those around or you can even have them both true if you want. That's, that's up to you. Um, right, got some Motion Randomness in there as well. That's between 0 and 1, so uh, yeah and uh, contrast as well, so it changes the, the contrast of the image. Um, I tend to turn flash percussive off because I don't like the sort of epilepsy inducing um, blinking. So yes, I, I, I turn that off, just leave that false. And uh, yeah, save frames in this one doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything because um, yeah, I, I do everything in RAM just, yeah, so that's fine. All right, so there you go. So you just, you just run that and that will run through. That, that will use that song. Oh, hang on, sorry, the, the other most important thing there as well is the the style there so you point that to your pickle that's wherever you got your pickle so i've got my style again too there training runs and it's just something i've been training so i got all the fakes there and just copied that network snapshot in so that's that's just that network snapshot from style 2 ada so there you go dead easy so you got your song there song.mp3 network what you want your output to be and uh you know play with all the settings as much as you like press return and, and it will go away and generate video a little bit like this one. <laughs>